And welcome back to the 2016 IFBA World Championships. We are about to watch what might be the most exciting possible match in the IFPA system. This is a, there are seven players tied at 94 points on the cut line, and one of them is going to win a spot into the final 32. This is Adam Lefkoff alongside my son, Escher, and we also have Bowen Karens here. Yeah, this is going to be an amazing, amazing little game here. It's only happening. Bowen is safely, uh, you're, you're double bite, of course, right? Of course. Of course. Of course. It was a huge challenge. I have a negative one buy. I did not make the cut. Escher did not make the tournament. I, what and, did it? Uh, so how it works is we're going to have seven players, and uh, they're going to play in groups of two on eight ball deluxe. It was actually voted for out of the three choices, which uh, – Bowen, would you have voted for 8-Ball Deluxe or Metallica? So there were three options that players could yeah. vote for for this tiebreaker. There was Metallica, a new machine. Uh, 8-Ball Deluxe, a mid-era machine, which usually means uh, solid state or early dot matrix. Actually, no, there weren't any dot matrix mid machines in this uh, tournament. You know what? A Drac was. What was the third machine that was available? Uh, Space Race. Space yeah, Race. Yeah, nobody's picking that one. But two, two, people, two people still people did. did. Yes. So two people did. Everybody kind of judges which they're expert on. If it, if I had these three machines to pick from, I choose Metallica. Uh, I would pick unquestionably, Metallica. but uh, everybody just has to feel like what they can pull it off. And Zan's already got two I, balls in play. Yes, I assume this is their practice here, uh, based yeah. on the. Uh, so Nick what? Zendejas was one of our seven. Um, I know Sanjay Shah is one, and he was I think the lowest seed going into the or lowest number of points. Yeah, he needed a 17. Yeah, he got a 17 to get to 94. You know, um, also uh, Danielle Peck from uh, New Zealand. Oh, Danielle age, is one of age, the seven. Age 14. No, no, but oh. she was. She needed a 19 to get to this this tiebreaker and got a 17. Oh, so she just missed and it at 90. Just 90. barely missed wow. those trem two tremendous rounds from her today. That's nice. Yeah, and that no. put her right within epsilon. And, uh, but still, uh, this has this has happened before. Yes, it would happen. Yes. With, uh, uh, seven players to make one at a tiebreaker, and I, I, I don't. Do you remember who won that tiebreaker? Uh, you know, uh, I won that tiebreaker on uh, Todd McCulloch's Tron down in the basement. It, we, we got to play as a four-player group and then a three-player group. And uh, I remember uh, you came up out of the basement because I never watch. <laughs> and uh, you let me know that uh, I came in second uh, for a moment, and so I that was really uh, that was really a cruel joke, and I've never forgiven you for it. And, uh, it was uh, I, I kind of knew I had put up a good score and uh, was able to hold on. But it, I'll tell you, it's intense. This is for yeah. some for six people. This is their finals. This is. And on eight ball deluxe, oh, jeez. I you would know? not want to uh, play. So so you want to get targets down early. Uh, you want to shoot that left orbit when you can. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want the ball to go to the out lane. The out lane's bad. And out so lanes are bad. Oh, Center's man. worse. Doing it all and worse. the very worst would be a tilt because Tilting. bonus is all It's all about the bonus. Now, no the, trouble. the thing of this is that because there's only one player winning here, you have to almost set in your mind you got to go a, for it, right? a target score that you think has a chance of winning against all seven. 1.2. Okay, yeah, that's what's that's your target score. I would take the, I would I'm start at I would start at a million as a target score and then hope for the best. Uh, but I'll I don't take know. the over. You'll take the over on uh, one point. One point two. Really? Oh. Yeah, I think someone's gonna really blow it up here. Looks like we're starting. All right, so who is this? I don't recognize our first player. Uh, he's European. Yes. Because I know all the all the U.S. players here. So uh, Josh tells us this is Peter Anderson from Denmark. Yeah. Uh, he got one, two, three, four, four save. targets down. Oh, yeah, yep. great this is a good slap start. Save. Ideally, you want the entire rack of balls, one through eight, uh, because then you can play a new rack of balls on ball two, and you'll keep the bonus. It's 7,000 per ball times multiplier. And, and the multiplier ball, yeah. is those uh, inline drops that he oh, picks he just up. just got one. Uh, and, of course, you're getting triple value on ball one for those, assuming yeah. you don't tilt. Hold, yes. Oh, you can hold your flipper up there. Ball stops every time. Well, this is a great. Oh. <laughs> this is an amazing wow. uh, pickup. Escher's here. over might be. Uh, this he's got Ooh, all he got seven balls. And it's on ball one. 
And like you said, oh, he could have probably held up his left hold flipper a fl there. You can hold the flipper up there. Into a trap. Well, oh my goodness. Uh, off the sleeve. This is oh. outstanding play. And, I, and you, you've seen a lot of different play styles Let's at a championship eight. like oh. this. That's a big miss. Yes, it is. Because yeah. now on the next ball, he can only pick up the eight ball to try and advance to the second rack. So that did yes. cost him. But at the same time, a 300,000 with uh, seven ace of a rack is not... Not a bad place to be. So here we have Nick Zendayas from New York City, right. formerly of Colorado. And Sen has made the final eight at the Papa World Championship back three years ago. He finished sixth and uh, just perennially a strong player, one of uh, New York's best players at this point. But uh, what, uh, what, do you, what do you know him as for, as far as his expertise? He's a little bit more on the fly. Oh, he's uh, got a lot of his balls already. He only has two left. Yeah, this is a uh, this is just as just as may try a little tap pass over yeah, there. I don't know if that um, was just a misflip or you see how the the uh, both bo both flippers will catch the ball. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is the the green lights. You see, there's four of them A B C D. Uh, when you complete uh, all four of them, you want it to actually go in the light, not the unlit one. It will spot you one of those targets. Yes. Yeah. So again, uh, Zen gets close to finishing a rack, but he doesn't finish a rack. And I think the person that wins this is going to get a rack done on ball one. And hit the right ball. Yeah, well, that's finishing the rack. Yeah. Right. The eight ball. So Peter is uh, cashed in one through seven. He's got the eight ball flashing for completing the first rack. And then I would suspect he's going to try to refocus on the inline drop multipliers for 2x, 3x, 4x, and 5x. Yep. Each of those would be worth then... Already right now, 49,000 per hit, and would be 56,000 by cashing the eight ball. The, uh, so you, oh, oh my goodness, self collect. Amazing. All right, yes. let's see. Now you can backhand the 2x here. Oh, that's what he's going for. He's a little, oh dear. Oh, that, oh. Up, that upper flipper that nearly. Oh, this is trouble. Yeah. That's, that's a, a tilt. That's a oh, huge. no, that was a huge tilt. What was, you remember the, so good, he just, he just had 1x 56 there, so it's yeah. cost him 56,000 points. And with the opportunity to keep the, the ball in play, eh, I don't mind that, honestly. I, I think that he, he had trouble there just getting it control. Will, right. It, it, the danger, the, the reason he died happened earlier in that ball. Uh, using his upper flipper, uh, it kind of put the ball down into that out lane. Yes. He survived, and then he really wanted that trap. Uh, sometimes just flipping is your best option, but, of course, right. that's – that's what we do is trying to figure all those micro decisions. And, and him, uh, him trapping up also runs counter to how he was playing the game before that. You're so right. He, yeah. he recognized, oh, I need to change and do this. And I, I would have liked to see him may bail have out. even done better yep. playing, the, playing with the style that had gotten him all there. All right. So Zen's back in it, baby. <laughs> if, you're, if you're just joining us, this is the IFPA World Championship. We are in a tiebreaker to see who advances to the round of 32. Uh, Nick Zendejas is on the machine right now. Nice little nudge there. And there are That'll going stop. to be seven players in this tiebreaker on April Deluxe. Only the number one score out of all seven players will advance to the round of 32. So this is a ridiculously cutthroat tiebreaker. Yes. Uh, everyone who's in this oh, round nice has played power, for the really. last day and a half. Okay, get the eight now. That's a good choice from, from Nick. Is he going to try and post pass? No, he's going to work the left orbit, which is your – you still yeah. got to get more points. So. Oh, if you – oh, uh, if you can get that green, it might – can uh, no, you uh, the hit the, spot nope, the you got to hit the eight. You got to hit the eight. So you your waste rack. your green if you uh, – It gives you a, a higher value in the – Yeah, in, in I think oh. – I, I really like, Escher, what you said there, that, that playing for ABCD, yeah, you get some points for it, but you also get a pool ball for free, so – does it? It doesn't award the eight, though doesn't award the eight that's the so yep. like Esther said it's kind of a, a small waste but uh, I would have I would have liked to go for the multipliers there just yeah just kind of go to all it had yeah. some points and get 56 neither, neither one of these scores I think is going to be a keeper though with five no. more players this is still go. interesting though because Peter has a rack of balls complete yes. and he's on second rack so, so he'll get up to 112 he could potentially get 500,000 here in bonus by completing the pool balls again 
and completing the multipliers on that inline area. So I really think in your brain you're thinking, when I'm on the left flipper, I'm knocking down targets. When I'm on the right flipper, I'm knocking down multipliers. Yeah. And I'm not ever flipping that upper flipper. Well, you know. You, hey, you, know, you take down targets with it. That's nice. Fine. Do you find good, this Good redirect there. This is the really nice play there. That's good. He's going to go across. Do you find the uh, bottom targets on the rack or the top <laughs> or the center targets the easiest? Bottom, bottom are a little hard because the flippers are a little soggy, so the timing's tricky. But yeah. Just needs a 6-7 here. Yeah. I'd like to see him go 6-7, not worried. The multipliers are going to come if they come. You see he was late. That's a typical shot yeah. uh, you see on this. Ooh, you're going to need a little karma here. Look out. That's, that's, yeah. that's a mistake. Yep. Because you don't have to flip that flipper. It's very common for players to see an upper flipper. like, oh, must must fire. Yes. And so if he had not flipped that upper flipper, he, he might still have drained, of course, in a different right. way. But uh, the direct drain was, yep. was absolutely caused that by That ball was the hitting off the side. And if he hadn't done that at all, it might have gone down the middle. It might have. We don't yes. know. Right. So there is a universe where he gets through. Yeah, uh, so many universes. Zen needs yes. to plow to 558. Um, and, realist and, and he needs to hold off five other people that are coming up next. It does not spot you, the eight ball. Yes, we were, we were pretty confident on that. So he gets a cradle. Oh, he chooses okay, not to use the it. There's 2x. There's the multiplier. I like him. He's, he's stalling the ball. So rather than hitting at full force, he is uh, he holds his flipper up. It takes some of the momentum off the ball, and it uh, uh, makes it a little easier to hit the drop targets and not, not have the ball go crazy on you. Yeah. So here's... Oh. And there's oh. the eight. That's uh, not that important because yep. all it does is give him another advance bonus. Right. So another seven thousand on his. He whip can his also multiplier. put but the ball the in the hole behind the eight ball for fifty-six thousand right yeah. now. Yeah. It will always collect its single bonus. However, he can finish the lux and relight a rack that way. Doesn't happen often, but you can do it on this game. Uh, he has his targets up though. That's the main purpose of the eight ball. Uh, so he he needs some uh, another multiplier. He should take the lead, right, Bowen? He's got uh, 112,000 bonus right now from 56 times two, which puts him at 500 even. Uh, one, one more, more multiplier, multiplier and then some pity points will be enough. Nice. Oh, that was really, really amazing yeah. alley pass to a trap right there. Great play. Uh, See if he he, he can. knew not to try and slap save, but to just slap with one one flipper there, and uh, the ball came to a nice trap for him. So he's only got one target left. Yeah. But he really he needs a multiplier here. Okay, so he's hit 3x now, and by hitting 3x, he will pass uh, Peter. Oh, that was when he pretty. gets a collect. Yeah, little another collect. That's like a multiplier. Yep. Uh, yeah. And you can pick up as many as you want there. It will also raise the 8-ball. The 8-ball itself, oh. wow, bounce into the 4x. This is a amazing oh, ball, good. 3 by he's Zen. He's only got one letter left five on X. the Lux. Ooh, and this uh, after 5x, oh, okay, tilt. boy, yes. he almost tilted there. But look at that bonus go, 866,000 right. points he's, for he's Nick Sendejas. He uh, does so have a Zen's chance. So Zen's in the clubhouse with the lead at 866,300. Wow. And if I'm one of the other players, I'm a little pissed <laughs> because uh, you're, you're hoping to get the kind of breaks that he got there. Uh, yeah. Ideally, don't look. This yeah. game, it, it's he really played, a, he it, played the game very well. Yeah, took, it's a took, mixture of control and also not being afraid to just shoot, make yep. shots. Yep. Donovan uh, step, a little bit of bull riding. Round. So Donovan step, and we have one other player in this. They'll they'll have a little bit of practice. Uh, it's interesting. Donovan played this game earlier in uh, a round and. Uh, Peter Anderson had. I don't believe that Nick Zendejas had played that game uh, in his group play. Um, Zach Sharp is uh, sitting there timing his warm-up. You get 30 seconds in the IFPA, 30-second warm-up on pretty much every game you play the entire tournament if you would like. Uh, it's really nice. Just you can check the tilt. You can get a feel for the flippers. Okay, so and, uh, okay, here's player four. Who this is, is uh, Mario Kaufman. From, from Austria. Oh, okay, I've always wondered who that was. I see him. I don't know that his English is that that good, but uh, I've seen him before. And uh, he is. Yeah, but his ponytail is on point. Yes, it is. Literally and figuratively, or both, neither. It comes to a point. It does come and to it's a on point. point. Uh, excellent. That would have been a nice inlay. And it has ballet shoes, so it's also on point. 
I noticed that a lot of European players like to play left orbit on this. Mats Runstein put up the two highest scores uh, in qualifying in the A bank by a bunch by a at bunch. three million ish. He was, was, was he playing orbits. only for left orbit? Did he have, did he play any pool? I mean, did he, he get what pool balls you get the sometimes? The pool balls come, but he was no, it was all left orbit. Okay. So this is the second set of players for the tiebreaker. Nick Zendejas has a score of eight hundred sixty-six thousand three hundred, and only the winner of seven players will advance. So their target score is eight sixty-six. Zen holding Zen look crossing out, his out. fingers nice. for a lower score than that, and. So that that was a nicer play with the upper flipper, I feel, because you you just you can push the ball out of the way instead of flipping it away. I think yeah, he's not going to get in trouble trying to catch it. He's going to keep the ball going, lots of one times. But on this game, that can work for you. Yeah. And it's very. It's oh, not. Oh, that's that was uh, interesting. Nice. All right. Really good no flip there he's from the getting, upper flipper. This is the you must have this on ball one. Now, if you get the eight before you finish the others, it doesn't count. It doesn't count for you. Yes, uh, you don't uh, you don't automatically lose yeah. like you normally would in April. That would be an interesting rule, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> you tell. Oh, man. It oh, lovely little nudge there. We see a lot of those go off the top of the sling and out lane. Okay, so Seven, Mario is in a situation now more. where he can put it through the left lane for B instead oh, you're of right. uh, aiming for this last four ball. So go go up back up so top. When he went for a multiplier just now. Oh, oh he's got, got, it. got it. Pretty. All right, now he needs the eight. On the, you can hit it from the upper flipper way late. Uh, see, it's, I personally, I, I find that shot to be super dangerous. I would not be willing to try it unless I'm. Worried. I would have tried it only because so, I wow. played, played the hell out of this thing in in, in uh, a qualifying. That was but, a that was a rough roll there from. Uh, yeah, to go Mario, down the middle. To have it go down the middle there, yeah. it didn't look to be in any danger. And it had a lot of backspin on it. It could have gone and. You know, almost a gazillion different ways. So but here comes Donovan's step. That was Colin strong, Donovan. though. 216,000 ball one. He got the full rack, one he's, through seven, yep. not the eight ball. And he's got an opportunity to then focus on completing the eight ball and multipliers on ball two and push his way past his ends, 866. Yes, you can do it all, all on right. one ball. Yep, and really you want it to be ball one because you're getting triple value on uh, on your bonus. Right. So Donovan, let's see what he, he comes up with. Donovan definitely one of the best in the in the U.S. and the world. Uh, been in the World Finals at Papa. And Finished uh, top four twice at Papa. And you were saying that Donovan was one of the people who voted for eight ball he deluxe. He did. I, I don't so. know what everyone else voted for, but he owns one and uh, plays it a lot and uh, played it in in match play. And oh, he gets a double roll there. Oh, he kind of. Oh my one. goodness, Once. that was a. There he's <laughs> he's going for it. There's been uh, a lot of one times. Oh, he gets a three X, but oh, he's oh, he's, oh my God! <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes! Oh, that's <laughs> goodness! That was a that was a bull riding ball there that from was, yep. Donovan. Incredible I, that he was I, able to bounce into the two X and three X there, and he did not get he got five out of seven balls. Yeah, he's gonna need some work on ball so two here. So he and Mario are in very similar situations. Neither neither one's right now looks like an eight sixty six. Mario's got seven though. Yeah, if he, if he gets can the eight get ball that here, eight. Yeah, then he can refocus on multipliers yep. and maybe some left loops. Get, yeah. Oh, and like get you ABCD said, skill shot. Here. Oh no, yeah. uh, got well, one of them. That was a again, nice little nudge right there. He just he seems really calm to me. Not that, but you know. Well, right before then, though, I like his body language, and now he's got it. He's got a shot at the eight. Bam. Oh, nope. he misses it. Just though. misses. Let's see if he gets another try. That's trouble. Try Good. See how not using that upper flipper in that case. That was the right thing to do. Nice. Ooh. He's making really good on this. He gets a two x. Oh, he wanted that one. Oh. Yeah, he went for it with he the top. He went for it, uh, but he, he missed the pose. I just I feel like he's making really good on the fly decisions here. When to flip, when not to flip. All right. Let's see if he gets another try. Let's. Oh, nice little back. bump there to help the sling. Just needs a try. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. No. That's eight ball. He zigged when he could have zagged. 364. It's gonna be tough for him to get 500 on that last ball. Yeah. It. Well, Zen did it. So. Yeah. So Mario, since Mario doesn't have the progress yeah, of that's make, the thing. having made the eight ball, so. he will have a maximum of 56 in bonus. And uh, probably his only way through to beating 866 is to concentrate on the left loops. Oh, it gets up to 70,000, and you get the special and the extra ball for points. Uh, Donovan really needs to get complete a rack, get to the eight here. 
or hit, you know, 10 loops. He's got his sunglasses ready in case uh, it gets really bright in here. He uh, just missed getting, uh, it's a nice catch. Nice. All right, he's got it. He wants to get both of these down. Oh, and he does. Perfect. Oh, All right, bad. now he, does he get a chance on, oh. Oh, oh, he just missed, and another shot. Oh, oh, that, oh on the other, wow. oh my god. A lot god. of one times here. Let's see if he gets a try, he needs a chance. Oh. oh. It's interesting to see Everywhere. Donovan not choosing to try for a trap, even when there is a clear opportunity to do it. I agree, Bowen. Uh, oh, and that's trouble. Whether that's oh. just his style or, or what. Oh. It's not really a, I, I don't associate him with being as fly away a player as, as he was on that ball. Yeah. Um, so we can attribute it. But it could be just this is the way he knows how to play April Deluxe. He right. said he owns one. He's played it a lot, and he knows the angles. The geometry of this game is very different than you, you just a lot uh, of other the games. top of the sling is above where the in lane out lane gate is, and so you see a lot of drains to the out lane. All right. Uh, let's see if Mario here can actually collect his eight ball. Oh, we got a nice inlane there. Yeah, it's hard to shoot it on the fly. There's a little wiggle on the inlane feed. Ideally. Oh, oh and, All right, and he is out. He is out. Nick Sendejas survives player Another three. Another player. He has got two down. He's got four more to go. Uh, Three more to go, right? Yeah. Because he's one of the seven. Oh, yeah, he is one of them. So three <laughs> more to go. Good It'll math, be three, son. three more after this, after this game, yep, I we think. Yeah, got uh, three more. Uh, but Donovan. Four more, including Donovan. Donovan can still. Yep. You can put it together on one ball, but uh, his it's not it's, as easy he's as gonna have to get some. Right. He's gonna have to get some good play, and and really with the way the first two balls have going, there. That's perfect. There's a right double there. roll. Another this double. Is Nails oh. the eight ball. See, Bowen, it's a nice, nice shot there. And th firing oh, through the collect. That happened. Yeah. That's been happening a lot in this right game. Collect is. Uh, and no. gotta go for That's that. It gotta for go Donovan. for that. No, that was a good one, but Donovan is done. So uh, Nick Zendejas is in the lead with 866,300, and we have three players to go. And uh, Donovan's probably going to be on our flight home tonight, Escher. Yeah. Who's, uh, who do we got next? So three remaining players in the tiebreaker are Bob Matthews, Greg Pavarelli, and Sanjay Shah. So it looks like in this game we're going to have Greg Pavarelli, who's stepped up to the machine From, now. Uh, New York City as well, right? He's a New York guy. Yeah, Greg. Um, I've gotten oh to dear. meet I've gotten to meet Greg a couple times and talked to him in New York City League. This is the warm up, so he's not trying to score right now. Uh, he's uh, his his play and his skills have have been. Very strongly developed in the last the last two or three years yep. as part of the leagues I down there, both at uh, Modern Pinball and now at Sunshine Laundromat in Brooklyn. So yeah. Sunshine, amazing place to play, man. I yeah, mean, I know it's so cool. Seen any I've seen, I have seen the pictures on Facebook. Yep. Yeah, the I got camera's shaking right now. I got to go there uh, about tilt? a month ago. No, oh, that was warm. Go. This is still oh, warm. Oh, too bad. That, <laughs> that was, was a, a great, great start. start. <laughs> I don't like to do so well in my warm-ups. How about you, Bowen? Do you ever get, like, superstitious? I like to destroy the other opponents in the warm-ups yeah, so that they'll be intimidated into, uh, well, that uh, must be why you're playing submission. in finals and I'm not because <laughs> I'm superstitious, and I think if I if I get that in-lane and warm-up, that I'm less That's likely to get that in-lane when I need it. And, the, and I want to hear their lamentations. Of the <laughs> of the women? That's of, uh, any, of that's anybody, Ar Arnold. Of anybody? No. Uh, yeah, right. we're not playing last. Who's our, who's our player round, six? Uh, and it Greg is. and He'll I got to play with Greg in a couple of rounds. Uh, this Pinberg, Pinberg, <laughs> this Ifba. Sorry, we all play group plays. It's, long, <laughs> it's been a long ten days. Uh, I was really. Uh, he's a really nice guy, and uh, I, I really like his uh, his uh, approach and the way he's his stance. Right, it's very calm. He plays, he makes good decisions, and he's, his body's in control at all times. So I think he has a lot of potential. Some, play, some players in the stream, people in the stream are asking about what happens next in this format. Okay, you could. Uh, this is to play for the 30. I can tell you that the person who wins this becomes the 32nd seed in the tournament. The bottom 16 players play against one another. So the 16th seed, who just missed out on a bye, actually the 17th seed, who just missed out on a bye will play this person 
head-to-head in a match of best of seven. seven. And if you're tied 3-3 after six, there's a little mini tiebreaker of three more games. And you can get to game nine. How many game nines have you played in the IFPA format, Bowen? That's a good question. I, I remember playing uh, three different, four different tiebreak rounds where I've gotten to 3-3 against players. Right. Did he go and, to game nine? Uh, three of those four went to game nine. So the first two were both against Andre Masenkov. <laughs> That's funny. I played a nine against Andre, too. And Ma- Andre <laughs> is the master of playing nine games per round. I remember, <laughs> I remember one year that he played nine games per round Every for four consecutive <laughs> rounds. <laughs> That good old Andre. And obviously won the first three, <laughs> at least, because he wouldn't have gotten to play the fourth round. That is true. Uh, uh, outstanding. Uh, and was and that, just that was in Vegas, I was one of the, by the time, I was on the wrong by side. By the time I night. got to him, I, I swear I probably only beat him because he ran out of gas. <laughs> That's <laughs> 36 games of pinball across <laughs> oh my God. across two, a day and a half. And after having already played 24 other meaningful games in the qualifying, this is one of the most intense formats uh, of all. The really it's interesting thing, too, is that each player gets to choose the three games that they play, a modern, a mid, mid-era mid game, and a old game. And so uh, it's all the games we've played over the last eight rounds. There's a lot of strategy, but the uh, players, good players who get to play the games each round, uh, the games they like to play, they, they t- it, it helps them get stronger in theory. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, I like to think of it as as home and away almost. Right, uh, you're playing home games on the machines you would prefer to play, and away games on the ones you your your opponent is picking. And to win a round, say four two or four one, you you have to win an away game. If you don't win any of the away games, you're gonna at best you can do is three three. And if you lose one of your home games, well, then, yeah, you, then yep, you're yep. in trouble. You got to make it up on the yep, road. It's like giving up a break point in tennis too. Uh, I saw Sanjay having uh, dinner last night, and he was having a bad – he had a bad start to this uh, IFPA uh, championships. And uh, I gave him a little pep talk, and I even told him about how I had once thought I was completely out on day two but managed to get up to 94 points and into a tiebreaker. And he was uh, – <laughs> <And he's, laughs> And then from and, there, and here he anything is. can happen. He just nailed the eight pole in the practice. He, yes. looks, bu- he looks stoked. He was so happy. He was like I was when when ninety four was announced as the tie. He 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 gave out the biggest yell. Nice. He went seventeen seventeen in the last two rounds. There to you make go. Yeah, Mario Kaufman as well. Both went, uh, both of them went seventeen seventeen straight up to. Uh, Very nice. To That's make a, it in here. We call that like a four fifths of a suitor. Robert Suter went twenty one twenty one to get to a tiebreaker back. Uh, I want to say Vegas or one of the first couple of, first couple of IFPAs maybe in uh, Minnesota. That's insane. That's the true, uh, yes, the true Thursday. Well, it's usually on a Thursday, but uh, all right, here we go. This is Greg Pavarelli from New York City. And Ooh, that was an uh, unlucky train. That's eight ball deluxe. There's really not much you can do there. Yeah, yeah Esther, Esther, do you think anything could have happened there, or was that just doomed? I, like, you can bump it and everything, but uh, that that's gone. Sometimes eight ball will, the ball will, you know, we call it a house ball. Uh but sometimes out of those, I've seen it go on the bottom pot just straight down the middle, which was just brutal in uh, A qualifying. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay, let's see. If Sanjay gets off to a good start, I could see him uh, getting into it. But it's, but yeah. it's like San- Sanjay looks very comfortable right now. He does, um, you're right. And that's. Oh, this is trouble side to side pad. He's got it. Oh, a little 2X for. No. I don't like it. Oh, he almost swept the entire drop target back there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what's amazing about this, too, is it's. Uh, since it's per pool ball, he's got 3x multiplier, but no balls. Yeah, I, I saw someone get 5x and then Without, drain. Oh, no, see and that? No he rushed that balls. right there. Ooh, it got nice, one, got nice. Three, rea- he's got doing four. better on the reaction than when he's thinking about it. I don't like him holding that upper flipper up so much. Yeah. He's blocking himself. Oh, he tilted. Yeah. He tilted on the way down there? Oh, no. Oh, that's so huge. Yeah, he tilted away. So, like again, half. you really, to, to catch Zen, uh, Nick Zendejas at 866, you're going to need to complete your first rack of balls on at ball, ball two one. to give yourself a chance at the 112 5X uh, on ball three. 
So this ball two is really important. It's okay to have a house ball on ball one for Greg, but he really now is where you got to get your work done. You got to complete it on ball two. He didn't even have a house ball. He just got unlucky. He hit yeah. the loop and then it went. Right yep. Down this like again, you can see it, right? That was just. So, Greg might have been able to do something about that one by pushing up yep. when it hit that yep. right sling, and that's where if if this is his first time on this eight ball the lock he wouldn't have seen events, it. yeah. it's, it's very hard to to make that decision and, and it may have been wrong anyway could have still could it have still, still could have gone it. off yeah in lane but i yeah. it was funny my brain was like danger danger because that angle is it's the perfect angle to drain on now sanjay i i'd love for him to keep that upper flipper down a little bit more than he was it was just doing nothing but getting in his way yeah it caught the ball right, like three times go. he's trying to he's Calming down. Meanwhile, uh, Nick Zendejas, is he watching? Is he sitting there? Um, where's where's Air? Zen's, uh, Zen's in the back. That's uh, Roberto Padroni in the back there who kind of vaguely looks like, like Zen. Yeah, a little Euro <laughs> Zen. <laughs> uh, he, uh, one of the or stronger Zen is, the strong Zen Italian is, players. Yes, Zen is American uh, Padroni. Oh, no. Oh. Um, I like going early in these types of situations, Juan. I think we're seeing a little more uh, pressing, little not sure. nerves, but just, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It put a score up for other people to chase. Don't try and chase right. a score. Yeah, be the one that people have to chase. That's what I like. That's like what when I choose to go first, when there's one, two, and three, I always like to go first because if you can blow it up on ball one, that you're already won unless you're playing against really good players that don't feel anticipation. Yeah. And everything there. Oh, let's, I think. Yeah. Let's see here if if uh, right. Greg changes tactics. He should be going for the left loop exclusively. So that's I, a good decision there. Yeah, he's not going to do and it on bonus. He's going to need to get the blue light on the left loop. Nice, nice reflex action reflex there. Reflex. Yeah, Twenty-five thousand. And you get a lane. Yep. So that left loop shot, it's just a matter of uh, survival. This is very smart. Uh, this is exactly the way he should be playing the game right here. Another twenty-five. Yep, you can get it to basically a hundred thousand. Uh, when a you loop. get it up to seventy plus the twenty-five, you, now you don't want to collect your other greens because you lose your twenty-five. So this is. Okay. And How yep, that was reasonable worth? there. Did good choices. He's gonna want bop. Uh, maybe point bop wise, not very much at all. He's but got it. All right. Bounce. Oh, bump. Yeah, he could have bumped there, but it's all right. And it's just a, a different. A different skill set also like uh in in, in my case there's uh, no way good. i would flip Hold the balls up. there yeah i want to uh, post transfer or alley pass yeah, yeah some yeah. way of the only shot i want to make is to the left loop so here i think he putting out of control on the fly. is uh well that's yeah, still you know i like it's working for him he's not gonna die yeah. trying to do a, a post transfer or an alley pass or he's getting value on all the shots yeah oh and, that was and a bad choice and now the seventy thousand is lit Oh, he just bit. Oh, yep. So yeah, he can let it roll down. That's nope. Don't oh, tilt. And he oh, tilted. you know, I think I think he could have saved that without tilting. I think that would have been tough. But he definitely made a strong effort there, and uh, Greg Pavarelli is great ball him. three after the first not two balls didn't give him much time of day. This. So three hundred sixty thousand will not be enough here. He'll be eliminated. The score to beat is eight hundred and sixty-six thousand three hundred by Nick Sandejas. Sanjay Shah has his last ball in play. Then we'll see Bob Matthews, the last of the seven players in this tiebreaker. This is a tiebreaker to end of the round of 32 with the IFPA World Championships. So Bo and Karen's here with Adam and Escher Lefkoff on the commentary. And uh, thanks for joining us. So Sanjay's got to do pretty much what Greg was doing. Except Just on that last drain from Greg, it was coming to the tip. I think a slap save probably would have saved it. He just he moved the machine a bit. Which is, oh, there's Sanjay. And that's and it that's that's eight ball deluxe for you. Yeah, I call that. I just call that getting horseshoed. That that around little the, area yeah, by around. the top right pop bumper and that hook around there. Yeah, right there. If uh, if Steinman ever you know did anything around here, he would get us a replay cam and he could diagram it out. It's his perfect. It's a perfect triangle angle. It's a set of angles. We've all seen it a million times. Yeah. Boom. I, I'm kidding, of course, about uh, about Mark Steinman. Uh, Really? So Nixon Dayas has 866, 300, and there is one player left. So the who's the last player? He's on the machine right now, Mr. Bob, Bob Matthews. Matthews. Okay, now, just outside Los Angeles, now, California. Now, uh, Bob played this in the 1971 U.S. Championships when it was fresh off the line. Uh, so Bob knows a thing or two about EMs. 
If anyone can do <laughs> how it, many, Bob can how do How many it. errors were there in that statement? This, uh, it was funny. In <laughs> this the game 19- is not from 1971. Yes, it's not an EM. <laughs> uh, as, the 70, as the 72 IFBA championships, this was considered a modern game. <laughs> <laughs> At if but negative 20. Uh, but it had some bugs in it. It was weird. There was a scoring bug where one of the targets would give you a million points. And uh, <laughs> really? Keith Elwin found it early. Uh, baby Keith Elwin, young. He was six years old and he put up uh, <laughs> two and a half billion on it. <laughs> All right. All right. This is. Uh, here we go for is this Bob's. It? Is this uh, it? Are we live? This, is, this, this counts? is Bob's game, yes. All right. Here we go. He needs a good start. <laughs> Bob uh, likes to one time it a lot. There's a multiplier, which doesn't help him. That's a nice in lane. There's good patience. Maybe a double. Oh, oh not no, even, didn't even single. It, you I have like, to get up to ooh, that I little like, uh, star yeah. rollover. Oh, you yeah, know, I uh, he kind of mi- he wanted to hit it with the top flip flipper. It was just out. It was just. It was. He tried to flip that with two different flippers. Yeah. It was just out of reach of both of them, and then it was within reach of the other of the third flipper. That was uh, a bit of irony in a way. You're right. So he's he's trying to skill shot. That's smart to get. To get the green, it gets him another target down. Uh, one more green. He needs the end lane. Got it. One more. Not nice shot. Tar- okay, eight. Great. He needs the eight here to have a chance. Hit the loop. Yep. Points is points, but he really needs that eight. Bowen, would you find a way to transfer right to left there from the cradle? Trouble. I would. I would. I in in valleys Just, of this era, yeah. I'm. I've been starting to rely on the edge of flip alley pass. Tip the oh to get it. You get it from up one there side and to the send other. it over. Yep. And Can you tap pass? On all right, we're sample? about to hear if Bob doesn't pass Nick Zendejas, I bet we're going to hear a real loud clap or a smack or a, oh dear. Mm-hmm. All right. So he's getting 25 on that light right now. He he needs to do this about quick. How many? 17 times. <laughs> well, he'll get points from the loop Ooh. too, uh, and know. that's nice. The eight ball is worth yep. a few points. He would. So he's going to get points for the loop and potentially some points for the 25,000s. I would, I would say that he is about seven or eight more shots away along the left loop from catching Zen here. But uh, he'd need the nice game to cooperate with and him. And so Nick Zendejas. <laughs> He's been wandering around. Uh, and uh, Zen went, f- went. he was in that first group, wasn't he? he? Was. Or second. He, he was third. Or uh, He put up the score. Last ball. So our uh, million, our million point... Uh, if you we had gotten to a million, wrong. Bowen, you would have gotten in. My it, 1.2 would have gotten in. <laughs> that was uh, still a strong score there by Zen. Uh, and out of seven players, he advances to the round of 32. And I'm not exactly sure how the seeding goes, but I believe that he will play Paul Zhangma. As a 17th seed. Who is yep. the 17th seed. So some, uh, of the, some of the players we'll be seeing in the next round. Yeah. Check uh, in later on, guys, because yeah. we're going to be on and off all, uh, all night. And, uh, yep. Thanks for watching this very exciting tiebreaker, and there'll be a lot more IFPA World Championships to come. So, Bowen, that was fun. Hey, thanks. Good talking with you, and uh, sorry you didn't make it to the final. And ah, best wishes, right. man. It's always good to see you. All right. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.